Welcome to RPG, I'm your host Rabbit Proof, and the new expansion pack for World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth is now available for pre-order. So I'm going to go over real, really quickly basically what I've had to do so far to get ready for this, and uh, you get to play four of the six new allied races when you pre-order the game. Exciting. I can't wait to show you guys and share what I've had to be dealing with so far, what I've had to do to prepare. Whatever. Let's dive in. The only warning I have to throw out there is so soon after the release of an expansion or any new content for such a massive multiplayer online game is to expect delays in one form or another. As a Warcraft player for a few years, I tend to avoid new content for its first day or so, which is what I did with this pre-order for BFA. I still encountered several issues upon pre-purchasing uh, Battle for Azeroth. Nothing I couldn't refresh a page on or restart my game to overcome, though. If you ask me, that's not so bad. Upon purchasing the pre-game, you will already see your level 110 boost on your character selection page, as well as an option for allied races. In the allied races menu, you'll see four new races, two horde, two alliance, that are still locked until you complete an achievement. They're not specific at all as to which achievement you'll need or anything helpful like that, so I'll help break it down a bit. This is a reputation grind all the way. For the first part anyways. To unlock the Nightfallen, you'll need to complete the Good Suramaritan achievement, which is pretty much the entire storyline of the Nightfallen, and gain an exalted status with their faction as well. The High Mountain Torn you'll need to complete Ain't No Mountain High Enough achievement, which is uh, the complete storyline for High Mountain as well. And you gotta gain an exalted status with their faction also. Now these were a little easier since Legion has been out for quite some time, and most of us have already completed these. To unlock the Alliance's allied races, however, I thought far more challenging, since the reputations you'll need to get exalted with is Argusian Reach and Army of the Light factions. These Argus factions are much newer, and not many have had the time to put towards these yet, like me, but uh, once you have completed these reputation and story requirements, a quest will pop up upon entering the world of Warcraft. I had to completely log out and back in to make this happen, but that's just a bug. I'm sure it's going to be fixed by the time I even post this video. So this quest will take you to your faction leader, whether that be Lady Sylvanas or Anduin Wren and they'll ask you which race you wish to pursue first. You'll make your choice and then pursue their demands accordingly. They'll each have you going on some wild goose chase for a little bit, but it's a relatively quick quest line for each race you do pursue. Upon completion, you will finally earn that unnamed achievement for said race. Now that all of this has been completed, you may begin the journey of your new allied race of choice. May the gods of Azeroth, the old gods and the gods of light and moon, be with you on your quest. And may you all like this video and subscribe. Hope to see you all soon in the world of Warcraft. <laughs> 